Satisfied with your bank? Have you considered a credit union? Midwest America offers about any service you need. The convenience of free mobile banking, debit cards, ATMs, free online banking and bill payer, competitive loans, mortgages, and more. Deposits insured to a half million dollars. Hey, consider this an invitation. Your next bank should be a credit union. Midwest America Federal Credit Union. Midwest America Federal Credit Union. The University of St. Francis football team finished off its first undefeated regular season since 2008 with a 64-6 win over Missouri Baptist, resulting in the program's 12th MSFA Mideast Conference Championship. A great accomplishment. Uh, that was a goal and to win the conference. So, you know, we met a couple goals already. Uh, beautiful day out in the St. Louis area. Um, kind of a unique setup. Bus from where we dressed to the game field and had to stay outside and so forth, pre game, halftime. But it was a nice day for it. So, anyway, start a little slow. Uh, middle of first quarter, uh, Seth Coat and Nick Ferrer kind of took care of that. And, and, uh, then uh, Gail Tabler had another one interception, pick six. That's his second of the year. What a great senior season he's having. So we, you know, we blew it open there before the half. Uh, I think everybody that made the trip played there in the second half. So a uh, good win. Uh, great to be undefeated in a tough, tough conference. And now uh, getting ready for postseason play. The Cougars will open up postseason play versus number 12 Reinhardt University with 13 MSFA first team selections. Running back Justin Green was among those 13 players. He scored his fifth touchdown on the season versus Mo Baptist. So too did PJ Dean, who recorded his second touchdown of over 40 yards long. Well, there is no question that our tailback position were loaded. Uh, at the break when we had the open week, that's why I decided to, to move Aaron Harris to wing back. I thought his physical uh, abilities met that uh, position well. Got to have a tough physical kid there to block. And uh, we started getting uh, dinged up there. We were up at Robert Morris and Seth Stewart was the guy. You know, so there's all 160 pounds of them playing every snap. So we had to make that move and we were Fortunate to have the depth that we have at tailback. P.J. Dean is one of those. Gosh, he's a guy, you get the ball out in open field, you know, it was my original thought, and he's gonna make plays, but he'll also uh, evade tackles and make you miss, even, uh, you know, on an inside play. Yeah, he took a little isolation play and made people miss and, and uh, took it in the end zone. Uh, Justin Green's a, a great tailback with uh, probably the best acceleration I've seen. Tyrone Young is just a physical uh, freshman that uh, you know has the speed uh, out in the open field and certainly has the power inside as well. So you know we have three great tailbacks and, and uh, each one of them uh, definitely have uh, their upsides and uh, still all got to work a little bit on blocking and that sort of thing. But uh, good receivers out in the backfield and can make plays inside now. The Cougar defense has been making big plays all season long. Against the Spartans, senior Kale Tabler returned an interception 40 yards for a touchdown, his second pick six on the season, and St. Francis' seventh interception return for a touchdown this year, which ties an NAIA record. They really have. You know, I look at Marion back the first week of October, two of them, you know, with Cowherd and Tabler. Um, I look at Taylor with Harnish. Uh, what was a big, big play, obviously, the game-winning uh, touchdown. So, you, you know, it's a real tribute to our coaches and our players for the style that we have played on defense aggressively, uh, taking advantage of our, uh, our speed. Uh, and again, you know, we have to continue to work well, tackle better. Make sure we're playing good, solid team defense and doing the things that coaches ask them to do. Um, because you know, we face the top rushing team in the country coming in this weekend, first round. With Reinhardt's top rated rushing offense coming to Bishop Darcy Stadium, a lot of emphasis will be placed on the defensive line and senior Carrington Thompson, who came into the St. Francis program as a pass rushing phenom 
and has since developed into an all-around defensive end. Coming in, you know, I've always been really good at pass rushing, and uh, you know, Coach Wagner last year at the end of the year told me, you know, we're going to need you to step up and really, um, you know, fight for a position. And I think over the summer, you know, I just kind of, you know, matured as a football player and, you know, kind of learned more how to play the run block, or actually, you know, thought about it more and maybe more conscientious of, uh, you know, playing the run block and, you know. That's what he taught us was, you know, you play the run first and then you go to pass. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I have as many sacks as I did last year at this point. But, uh, you know, like I said, I've matured as a football player, you know, playing the run first and uh, really just trying to do my part and, you know, making this defense to collectively be, you know, astounding. Well, the speed of our defensive line and definitely Carrington being one of those. And, yeah, I think is, is uh, key to greatness is his uh, pass rush, but he's become a good run defender as well. And, uh, he's going to get that tested this weekend, but uh, you know, our defensive line is strong and they're extremely quick and uh, it, you know, a good, uh, uh, great job with Coach Wagner, Coach Wolf for the defensive line and a uh, great year that they've had and uh, got to get ready for a great test on Saturday. Thompson, a native of Fort Wayne, was first drawn to St. Francis because of the school's art department and the programs they offer the community. He'll graduate in December with a degree in graphic design. St. Francis has a uh, summer art academy. It's about two weeks long, or back when I was in high school they had it. And uh, basically it's just kind of a, a program for you know budding art students to uh, fill out you know what they uh, think they want to do you know later in life and I've been going to that program for three years or well it would have been two years my junior year and you know I really like the teachers there and you know the teachers were also faculty members at St. faculty members at St. Francis they told me about how you know my senior year I should come to the uh, high school portfolio review and they just you know go over your sketchbooks and your whatever art you have done in high school and they you know, look for what potential you have and know what you can bring to St. Francis um, art-wise. And, you know, they apparently like my stuff and gave me a, a scholarship. And my major is in graphic design. And, uh, you know, I guess I don't necessarily consider myself a full-on graphic designer. I, I can do it, and I can do it pretty well. But I, I like to think of myself more as an illustrator. Um, I really like doing um, different types of portraits and, uh, you know, digital artwork. And so, dig a digital illustrator um, who also does graphic design. Um. After a successful senior season at Snyder High School, Carrington was named All Summit Athletic Conference first team, which drew the attention of the St. Francis coaches, one of which he already had a relationship with. Thompson then knew USF was the place he wanted to be. It was really when uh, Coach Didier, you know, came to me at Snyder and you know, asked me, you know, if I wanted to play. And I had known Coach Didier my entire life. Um, I went to Homestead and, in my freshman year, and you know, I went to the feeder schools. And uh, he always, you know, was just around. He worked at the Y, and that's where I spent a lot of my, you know, uh, middle school years, um, you know, hanging out. And so uh, he knew of me, and I knew of him, and we. Uh, he just kind of came to me along with Hakeem and um, some other players and uh, you know he he offered me this guy or he told me you know we want you for football and uh, it kind of just went hand in hand with the art program and you know the other scholarships that I was receiving and so um, you know I knew I wanted I, I really wanted to help my parents house out as much as I could because uh, they were helping me you know supporting me through college so whatever way I could help them uh, you know, save money, you know, I wanted to do that. And so, um, yeah, football was another way to do that. And plus just the whole team aspect and, you know, really staying in shape and trying to, uh, was another driving force for me to play. Carrington hopes to be a force in shutting down Reinhardt this Saturday, 12 noon at Bishop Darcy Stadium. The Golden Eagles enter averaging 361 yards rushing per game. Looking back at the Cougars' schedule, Concordia was a triple option team, 
Does Reinhardt remind Coach D of Concordia? No, and they're not really a triple option team. I thought that when I looked at the stats and things that they were doing running the football, they're not. They're uh, an old wing tee, Delaware wing tee football team. They, they uh, run a lot more formations and bells and whistles off of it. But they take advantage, they have a power runner uh, inside that uh, is tough to tackle. He's 5'9", 215, great speed. He's got an offensive line that moves well. They pull, trap. Uh, they're, they're very effective and then they have uh, guys on the edge that uh, are, are jet sweep speed guys. So you gotta be able to stop you know, the outside game with speed and you gotta be able to tackle well inside. You got a quarterback who's a runner, can make plays. So they're not the triple option team that I had expected. So once we got filmed, you know, I, I saw what they were doing. And it's uh, similar to what we saw a couple years ago with Cumberland's Kentucky without the option. They're, uh, they run a little bit of speed option, not much. Their forte is power, misdirection, play action. They do it well. So it's a different kind of challenge than we have had all year. and. Uh, going to be interesting to see the matchups because I think they got great speed, we got great speed. So you can expect to see a fast game Saturday, something Thompson is very used to. And now that his career as a Cougar is almost over, Carrington is really enjoying his senior season. This is kind of the senior season that, you know, every football player kind of dreams of, uh, you know, being undefeated and, um, you know, going to the tournament with, you know, a home game. Uh, home playoff game and you know just kind of living that dream with your you know, your teammates and your fellow seniors um, you know it's just a great feeling you know knowing that you're a conference champion and you haven't lost you know that's it's an amazing feeling and uh, a lot of people don't get that get to have that feeling of their senior year and you know I'm really fortunate to, to have my team and uh, be able to help lead them to victory and to help his team get to the quarterfinals of the national tournament, the goal remains the same for Thompson and the defensive line. Oh, I mean, I think, you know, it's just get to the ball, you know, read your keys, um, do your job and, you know, make a play, be athletic, you know, be the guy who, who does his job and then, you know, get off and do whatever you can to, to make the play, I guess. As a defensive lineman, you know every everyone's goal is you know to, to get a sack or um, you know make the tackle. And so I mean, yeah, I think the the biggest thing for us as a whole, as a defensive line, is you know just to be technically sound and uh, be monsters in the transit changes. So.